dear friends this is srinivasan who is having more than 30 years experiences in the construction industry trying to give you a small presentation on how to do your tiling works in dadon flooring in a correct fashion kindly watch this video till the end to know about everything introduction stage it will be start with the preparation preparation will proceed to insulation insulation after the insulation the protection method preparation works it is a review of the shop drawings it will start with it then we'll go with the material management and the surface preparation for which what are the tools and tackles is required we'll be discussing about it also review of shop drawings we have to review on the shop drawings the layout pattern of the tiles set out and termination level tile termination details tile spacer and corner beds mep services requirement tile layout it is if it is in the floor layout if it is a straight it been shown here if it is a diagonal it has been shown here dado layout without a border also shown here dado with a different orientation this will give you a rough idea how the tile layouts has been done in the dados this is setting out the details how to start the tiles from which location and everything has been shown here can thoroughly go through it in the diagonal method how it is to be started how it is to be fixed everything has been clearly shown in this drawing the termination details it is in the ceiling how do you are going to do a termination detail suppose if to the tiling has to be done up to ceiling of it how to do it suppose it is to be only up to the ceiling level false ceiling level how to do it the sectional and elevation drawing has been shown in clear data the detail with adjoining finishes whenever there is an additional finish has been coming down how to do the tile finishings this has been shown in this drawing tile with a bedding mortar adhesives has been shown on top of it a plaster if there is a plaster groove has to be provided how it is to be provided also shown in this drawing the detail with adjoining finishes when there is a timber finishing or in everything has been going to come down how to fix it plaster then there is an adhesive then the tiles corner tile bead how to be fixed so sub, sub frames has to be how to fix everything has been shown in the drawing which will be easily you can understand the toilet with adjoining finishes like that where the aluminum frames and everything which has been coming down has been shown in detail how to fix it out what all the precautions has to be shown in the sketches the detail at sill and lintel in lintel how the corner bed has to be fixed everything has been shown in the drawing sill with the tile how to fix a sill tiles has been shown in this drawing sill with a coping stone if there is a coping stone has to be done how the coping stone has been laid and how the further tiling has been done has been shown in this drawing in details spacer as per actual architectural concept the floor spaces comes around 2 4 6 8 and 10 mm wall it will be 1.5 to 2 2.5 and 3 mm these spacers has been uh, mandatory for the controlling of the expansion and the contraction joints thank you mep services requirement floor drops in what wet areas slopes towards the drain prior insulation requirements of bath tubs wall mounted wcs check any other associated works these are all the mep requirement in a washroom or a toilet whatever you call it as check provision for all electrical layouts all drain layouts all water supply layouts all walls all accessories has been fitted in a proper position or not please check it out material management for the material what you required for the tilings and everything you have to do the material management which will be consist of the material calculation material testing and finally the storage and shifting based on the shop drawing compute quantity section wise and prepare a schedule when you want how to want how the 
lots has to come down etc etc consider wastages factors for material handling theoretical wastages maintenance and repairs this will help you to find out the final quantity of the material has to be ordered material storage and staking storage should be done in a batch wise always tile should be staked vertically to avoid any damages prior to installation tile should be soaked well in the water material testing check the dimensions of tile check for any wrappages or bends or in tiles check for a surface finish as per requirement such as matte and glory finish check the batch number consignment control color shade etc etc for any variations or anything before starting the fixing the review of the, uh, preparation of the works it will be started with the review of a shop drawings material management surface preparation and the tools and tackles before doing it check the verticality of the plaster using the plumb bomb check the line of plaster using spirit level straight edge etc if there is any undulations patch it up before fixing the tiles check openings are correctly maintained for dimensions check services outlays are correctly embedded before tiling has been started check waterproofing is perfection or well within the finished floor level preparation works again it has been the same pro- process of review of shop drawings material management surface preparations and tools and tackles tools these all the images will show you what are the tools you require like a grinder plumb bob tape uh, water tubes straight edge etc etc construction stage this is a very important stage for which you have to do the preparation insulation and the protection as a final stage construction sequences start diado leveling first time start flooring complete first line of diado construction sequences mark reference level of floor and diado lines as shown in the drawing fix the first tile at the second line to exact butter the wall surface perform with tile step 1 and 2 at the other end use notch fix Travels level pad at top for line adhesive application with the bottom tile groups so that you can apply check it out adhesives, whether not the tile more than 2 mm on back of the but tile and press over the wall the vertical or not so that tiles can be fitted properly the adhesives how to apply it in the wall surfaces has been shown in the sketches use spirit level and straight edge for aligning tile to line and plumb perform the same steps to complete the dado line also what line and everything has been shown in the detailed drawing check the alignment using the straight edges in the similar way complete the balanced dado to its full height and other walls sequences for flooring ensure to level the bedding mortar or required slopes towards the drain spreading mortar evenly on floor surface and tamp it to the required level before fixing the tiles lay the tile at the other end and always work on a principal hole of a pot lay the set out tiles to a required line and level upon which the tile should be tampered under cement slurry over mortar bed flooring pour cement mortar set the tile to a final desired position by tamping it gently complete the balance side tiles following the same procedures after flooring complete the first layer of the dado shall be laid as per the actual measurements post construction ensure upon completion check for any hollow sound over the installed surfaces remove the tile s- s- spaces if used rag the joint thoroughly and free from any excessive tile adhesives grout the joints using specified color grout protect the flooring using pop and polythene sheet for any damages 
ensure periodic monitoring on tiles of succeeding activities thank you for watching this presentation kindly subscribe like and share which will motivate me for further good presentation in case of any queries do not hesitate to write to me the response shall be at the earliest for contacting you can write to me on civilconclave@gmail.com or at my telegram group which is known as the r srini telegram groups the link has been provided presentation courtesy is mr dhyan deshmukh thank you for watching